And we are back. It's the last time we were moved to the new area here because we kind of shot our way out of the last town. But I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand later. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Yikes. Well, come with me, then. You want to head out Holy there? Holy crap. Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. There. That's fair. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. 
What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Do -do -do -do. I burned bold with more strength than you. Hell, my sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Hey there, mister. How are you? So, what's going on here? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get okay. on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Right. Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Oh, I should have packed more so, guns on me. You get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you. My husband and I shared I all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... Mm. What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You see. need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! Shit! Oh, that's, that's not cool. trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. They did good. 
But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful now. Well, careful. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pierce about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wide, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind falls. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. How are they? Shoot, never better. Okay, let's... Hmm. Well, first, let's go and pay off the bounty. Probably should do that before going anywhere near Micah there. Because he's probably going to give me another bounty, which will be oh so great. Hmm? Who said my name? Okay, I guess I imagine shit. Okay. Get on the horse. Yep. Shouldn't be hot right now. Parts, especially looking like you're dumb. I guess I was dumbass. <laughs> there we go. What the fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
ass is back to work, you hear? Hello Let's again. pay off the bounty. Got some bills to pay, huh? Train ticket. Let's go to... Uh, none of these go to fucking... Great. Uh, let's go to Valentine's. Right, That'll be the here. quickest way for us to get to Micah there. Working on it. Somebody help me out. I was in the army. No way. I knew I heard Mickey somewhere near here. Hey, Mickey. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Can I get a buck, mister? Yeah, sure. Why not? Maybe after doing Mike, I'll do Albert Mason there, and then I'll double back and do the Black Belt mission. Because we are in road now. Well, roads now, so... turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, right? Who are these? They're just random strangers. The fuck? Okay.
I really need to clean this. There we go. We're all good and ready. these guys uh, forgot about the constant ambushes in this game you get sometimes good thing I'm always prepped always okay, good to have boy. guns on you ready like that because you never know when they'll pop out and Pull some bullshit on you like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to bring my dead eye back up. Fuck. This is really hurting my. <laughs> Stamina. <laughs> That'll have to do for now. Until I can find other things that bring my core back up. Hey, buddy. Oh, I forgot the building shut Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> Look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? It's starting to run low. I can't spare anyone. You might have medicine. Down. the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Uh, I like it. May as well. I don't use this crap. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Have a good one, mate. All right, boy.
Mike, uh, where are you hiding at? Hey, buddy, you're down here, aren't you? Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Well, seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me mm. do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town. Just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Yikes. This ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold <laughs> tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. Okay. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Oh, let's go.
need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Here, find new rifle too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Lancaster movie. Oh, I'll take that. If I get, I'll keep it on high velocity. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife, something like that. <clears throat> you don't want to just break it open here done with it could be more than we can carry and there might be a second crew of riders tailored all right then not to mention we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more can he i ain't sure i trust this new act of yours one bit listen i know we got off on the wrong foot but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up. Babe. Sure. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take the pen and get the hell out of here. That that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Hmm, not a bad dick. Oh, shit. Idiot. Come on, buddy. You stop right now or you're dead. I'll 
kill you! Think this through, you fool! Fucking asshole. <laughs> Surprised I didn't get bad on her for that one. Um. Shit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go into town and get some food that'll help revitalize everything, and then see where we are, where we want to go from there. I mean, yep. we might do the Albert Mason thing, but I want to at least make sure I can fill up. All my cores. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna really need to find a way to get my cores back at their best again. I'm gonna have to buy a lot of food here in a minute. Got everything you need. Hey, buddy. Um, everything in that is available for purchase. Used to hack up Citadel Rock all the time when I was younger. Just don't have the energy no more. Thank you. And that some of the fellas who play poker down. The flat next station said they had some clergyman in. Drunk out of his mind. Let's buy those again, because I'm probably going to need them. All right. Well, I went a little too far. 
shit. One, two, not here, not here. Appreciate it. There we go. Can I get you anything else? Look around. No, that'll be good. That sniper rifle worked out for you. Yeah, did the job. Hunting trip? You could call it that. Okay, I won't ask. I'm surprised I haven't done this before. I think I did that, everything for this. Furnish it. There we go. Let a proved rifle in. Got a short scope on you.
What? Didn't do it. Fuck. Uh. There we go. Yep. Yeah, bye. I refuse to do up this gun. <laughs> this one I think I did up a bit. So, yeah, it's got the long scope, which I like on it. Yeah, I'll do more up later once I get some more money going for me there. Thanks. Uh, let's go see if Albert Mason needs some saving there. I could dig a ride to Strawberry, that'll help us. Sir, actually, there is a secret that I know here that I should try out. Damn! You have to is there something you? wrong with your head? If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. I ain't out here looking to get friendly. Now get away from it. Anyway, I gotta get going. Bye. Word mm. is he's made okay. a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Yeah, the secret I know about here is I have to go down here, I think. To peek in at something. Hello. Watch. I peek into here. I can see that there's shit going on in here. Doesn't look right. All right, so 
am gonna make sure my horse is near <laughs> by when I do this. I've seen you before. Welcome. You must travel. Please, just put that gun. Not so fast. Baseman, I want to see what you got cooking down there. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Just a little batch of white lightning to warm the old bones. Take me down there. Now! May as well rob here while I'm at it. Thank you. It's, uh, it's down this way. Uh, like I say, no, nothing to see, really. Just a, just a little drop on the side. I'll be the judge of that. Move your ass. There's I'm just trying vegetables. to make ends meet. It, it ain't like strawberries full of big spenders. Uh-huh. You can see it ain't much, really. Come on! You don't have to clean me out! I look like a wealthy man to you! Now, you gotta have some money stashed away down here somewhere. Money? If only. I, I'm sorry, mister. I, I think all this just probably looks more than it is. Whoa, please, stay back. Show me where the money is. I ain't gonna ask you twice. Okay! Okay! D don't point that at me! Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. Hey now, th that's close enough. That's better. You don't need to take it all! I just don't need the wanted level when I leave here. Oh, I probably should have robbed him, but hold on, I'll fix that in a second. Uh, what do you got on you, buddy? Thank you. Isn't easy sometimes. Let's go, boy. Let's go find Albert Mason if we can. Yeah. Or should I do the bounty? Because that might be closer. Eh. I stand by it. I'll see Albert first. And then I'll do a bounty on the way back or something. Easy there. wonder if I should inspect this area a bit. Whoa, there's a... How have I never missed this before? This is like part of a house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, you idiots. Fuck you for that bad honor. They started it. I ran into them, yeah, but they started shooting at me first, so. the road. Hey, you there? Aye. Would you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Uh, sure. You're a kind man. I'll be back. Fit as a fiddle. I guess Boss I'll wait here. Be happy about this. Could swear there's normally ain't rocks on this road. Boy, my mouth tastes terrible. Where is he going? Oh, whatever. I don't even know if the dude's coming back. I'll be very surprised if he does. Oh, moonshine. Like, what the f. I'm late here. I don't really need moonshine. Man. Maybe I'll check something at the front. Ow! How do you miss a rock like this? Is the dude drunk? Is he gonna come back? I don't think he's gonna come back. Is he just not gonna come back? Have I literally been duped by Rockstar? Is that what's going on here? I'll clean my horse while I'm waiting. His horse. Wait, is this horse over there? Did it... Oh, he straight up killed this horse. Um. Is he gonna come back? I straight up don't think he's coming back. What does this say? Is there any... Papers or hints or fucking jetpack or something to help me figure out what's going on here. Yes, yeah, so I'll 
I tried to do the right thing. I waited. Just, I just don't think the dude's coming back. If I go where he went, he went over here. So, easy, easy. Dude, straight up gone now. Um, okay, I guess we're abandoning the cart. I mean. Let me go back up to bed. That makes no sense. Oh, wh what? Now the cart's gone. Okay, magical cart. Whatever. Well, shit, I wasted my time and now Albert's not here. Hmm, wonder what's over here. Donkey, whatever. Um, what's inside? I wonder. About Hello? damn time. They said you'd be uh, through two days ago. Sorry, what are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. I ain't sure what you want from me, lady. Are you dead in the head, boy? Put the loot down in the cellar with the rest of it. Is that clear enough for oh. you, you dumb yak? Okay. Which one of you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. Let's see what's in the cellar then. Um. So long down there. Hello. That looks nice. Stop poking around and get back up here. Yes, ma'am. And what? Eh, let me get through. Wait a second now. I don't remember you. I thought they said be one of them Russell boys. They normally say as if they send in somebody new. You always this hospitable with your guests, lady? Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. Okay. Okay, bye. Hey, wait. That's my gun. Thieving bastard. Mine ain't that bad. Shut up. It's so tough now. All right. Yep. 
Uh, let's see what this new gun looks like, because uh, it ain't in good condition, apparently. Oh, it's in really bad condition. Let's fix that. Semi-automatic shotgun. Okay, cool. Might come in hand later, might not. something here. Maybe you can help. Okay. We're making moonshine, okay? But our last batch was terrible. Set your teeth on edge. <laughs> With the right ingredients, maybe. Listen, you fetch us some, maybe there's something in it for you. A reward. What do you think of that? Sounds easy enough. Okay. Sure. Wild tobacco might be nice. Good and earthy. You're in luck. I think I got some. I already have some for you. Go ahead. Yeah. Throw them into the mixture and we'll see how it turns out. Okay. How do I... Oh, I have to go round and do it. Round on the side of the still. Open the hatch. Yeah. Open it up. Ooh. truth okay don't think it works this fast but give it a try I guess Let's give this a taste <laughs> oh, well it isn't the tastiest but I do get a kick after drinking this <laughs> Very nice, huh? Why don't you rest up? We'll brew a big batch of this later. Hey, okay. listen. If there's any drink finer than ours, it's what's in that chest over there. Take it. Enjoy it, okay? Oh, well, thanks. Oh, thanks, mate. Let's see what's in there. Oh, moonshine. Aged pirate rum. Okay. Nothing wrong with this. Yeah. Glad I came over here. Like yep. ah! Oh, stupid tree. Sorry, buddy. Boy. Easy boy. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Ow. find ourselves a convict here killing people Ooh, might be something here I think I recognize this place, but I'm not sure why I do. Just gonna take the regular pump shotgun with me. 
Okay, buddy. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, die, motherfucker. Okay. This is why I remember the place. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skin you. You're probably worth it. That damn right scared the shit out of me. And that's also probably why I remember this place. This is the place that has a bear in it as soon as you walk in. Keep that there for now. While I finish looting whatever's left in here. Oh, sorry, buddy. Can I move it away? No, I can't. It's in the way of shit that I need to get to. Fuck. A pipe. see what that poem was about. I think that's over here. Journal. Okay. things in the way. I'll have to come back to it later. Let's go, boy. Maybe I can drop camp somewhere nearby. set camp here. Fuck, why not? <laughs> May as well sleep till noon. <laughs> Fuck. See, it's already almost morning. Tear down camp. Um, all right. Maybe I'll see if that fucking bear is despawned now. 
That'd be nice if that's the case. Oh, there is nothing here. Great, I wasted my time. Other than... Dead guy on the couch like this. Great. On the couch bed. Not bed. Whatever. Hey, boy. Yep. Let's get out of here. Some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it, that won't help. Look at me. I'm bleeding out here. Can't. Can't stay. I can't hold. I get her. Well, I tried. Didn't think whiskey would be the fucking option. Was I wrong? This is a good point for a trap. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me, but you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Uh-huh. Oh, shit! I missed. I was trying to shoot his fucking... Damn it. Alright, let's go. We're going back 
to strawberry. Well, there goes my bear pelt, but fuck it at this point. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do a man with a bullet in him. You talk a lot. Younger days. Take a nap, old man. I wish you'd killed me back there. I kind of regret not killing you. That's big Josh, all right. <laughs> hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fi fine. Ain't turning back, they all did. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some dick. I don't deserve to have to listen to this. <sighs> here we are. Straw man. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. Trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Okay. They did a quick repair job on this place. Lock me up. Forget about me. All right, no problem. Now, leave me to my peace. You got it. Pays right here. You make you work for it. He dueled me, so I'd say honest to be. Oh, now he's there. Let's make our way back. Damn. Just wondering if I can cut the most of this. Oh shit, probably. Damn hilly, so maybe not. Stop them! Don't move! Steal 
a stone or you get a bullet. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be more. Fuck. Mm -hmm. It's two ambushes today. Think twice before doing that again. Idiot. Might have to ask Mr. Pearson to make a better saddle upgrade for me there so I can store more shit. Hey there again. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. Giving you a heart attack, aren't I? Sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had me... Things with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I see that. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them, magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on, stay still, my beauties. Don't have much choice. Ah, oh, fuck. They ain't for foes, but it's just worms. Hey, a little too close for my time. We might have kept the wolves from the door. 
Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. Hello. Uh, my whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Jesus. Good way to get eaten, that's for sure. Okay. Um. Jeez, I got a long way to go. I'm gonna make my way back to the nearest town so I can get myself back to Rhodes, and then from there... Uh, then from there, I'm gonna have to go back to camp, upgrade it a bit, and then we'll see about doing more missions. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Hmm, I wonder what's around here. Sometimes it's good to stop and look at these houses because you never there know what you'll find. Nice looking home, that's for sure. And it won't open either. Nice. I don't even think it opens on the other side either. Will it? Nope. That's stupid. Nice looking house. You could do nothing to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? Come on. Hello. Partner. Jeez. Why do they always walk in the middle of the damn road? Uh, yes. Where to, friend? Can I get around in the roads, please? Well, now, that's gonna take a while, so make yourself comfortable. Mind if I do? Get up!
the place. Oh, Appreciate thank you very much, ride. good sir. See you around. Um, not sure what I'm doing, so... Right, I was gonna go back to camp. That's what I'm gonna do. Upgrade it a bit. See what I can get done to the place. Let's fix the camp funds. Give them a good 500 to start, and we'll start upgrading the place a little bit. What are you doing here, Joan? Um, I'm having a baby, miss. Oh, right here. Right now. The cheek on you, girl. Why? Take your bullying? Uh, if it's you, it's me. Then I'll take your nonsense. Until then, shut up. You better watch it, girl. Oh, I will. Whoa, I didn't want to go that far. Let's go back a bit. I'm just looking to go 500. Nothing crazy. Whoa. to do. I'm gonna purchase you. I still got a long way to go before I can get all this, that's for sure. At least I upgraded the camp quite a bit. Huh. Coming along just well now. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. 
I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. Looks to be a nice day ahead. Hosea knows a good fishing spot. We leave now. Well, we'll catch the early biters. Okay. Come on. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Time feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, mm. we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Oh! Oh, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, gentlemen. Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, Let's look who it is. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, 
What did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot yes, me, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. No, that train's just going a little faster than Master, usual. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Ah. Ah. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Working Get on alongside it. Alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump Working on, on it? Working on it. Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Watch out! He's throwing bombs. Stop bastard! I didn't do nothing. Ah! Oh. Seriously? Why do I always have to find myself breaking free of a situation like that? Fuck. Get over. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. <clears throat> there you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a get. 
Because you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No. My hat back on. Christ. Oh, not really. On your right here, these tobacco Thank fields? You. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Never. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? Mm. I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of mm. super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, 
You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, fuck it. We can fish. Sure, Let's do it. Why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching hmm. fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was hmm. worthwhile diversion all around. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? <laughs> 